In Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree, there are many secrets in the beginning zone alone. In the gravesite plains, there are many things to find. A sprawling, expansive land full of horrors awaits you. For example, did you know that all of these ghostly gravestones belong to dead people who are ghosts in the realm of the shadows? These shadowy figures walking around were once people, but they are now ghosts. If you travel to the west of the gravesite plains through the graveyards, you'll find this building. It is called the Western Nameless Mausoleum, and you'll find an enemy that took me many attempts to kill, but when you kill him, you'll get this sword. It is called the Great Sword of Solitude. Wow. And to the north, you will find Bellarat Tower Settlement, one of the great new dungeons in Shadow of the Erd Tree. This is Better Root, one of the great settlements of the Realm of Shadows. Now it lies in ruins. I don't know why everything is destroyed. Maybe if these shadow people did some work, didn't sit around praying all day, they'd get something done and fix the fucking place up. Through these mighty doors, you will find this arena where you will fight a boss. And then when you kill him, you get this stupid helmet called the Divine Beast Head. The hell's that? It looks so stupid. Why does it make your head so big? Taking the elevator up to the next level will take you to this door. It's a very big door. And then you got these steps. And you see this beautiful view of the tree. Wow. And then you go up these steps. And there's a shadowy tree blocking a door which I guess you have to unlock later by defeating something. Can't get through. Oh no. And then you have another new dungeon. It's called the Castle Front or Castle Ensis. And Castle Ensis is another great addition to all of the castles in Elden Ring. It's a great castle, full of horrors. The corpses of its enemies impaled on massive spikes. What did they do? How did they die? Who actually cares? As you make your way into the castle grounds, you are greeted by foes that look just like the enemies in the first game, the base game. Not really difficult to take down. You can get his hammer. It's kind of rubbish though. Got this sight of grace. And a smithing stone. And you got a thing. Skadu cross going up here further into the castle. For some reason I can't attack because the stupid text box didn't go away. <laughs> oh, he one shot me. What? A good tactic to make your way through the castles is to just run past everything and ignore them. Like this. And there's pretty much nothing they can do unless they get a lucky hit. Then you have a very deadly foe who can one-shot you. 
Oh my god. As you make your way into Castle Ensis, you'll find this cool little living room or dinner room with a fireplace. The fireplace doesn't do anything, but it looks nice. You can destroy all of the furniture. And there's a guy sitting on the floor. Wow. I wonder if you can jump down here. Probably. And then you've got a boss. The boss is here. He is really hard to kill. Because it's Elden Ring and everything is difficult. Get your mimic summon ready. Prepare to die again. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Come on, tank him, stupid shield things. Don't look good. Oh my god. What's he doing? That does not look good. Oh my god, I couldn't even move. Nearly got him. Okay, buffing up to try again. Oh my Okay, try again with the mimic tears this time. Get aggro. Oh, oh, 